comes to mind when I say, hey, what's your spirit animal? Because over the years, I've been asked this question and I've never really known for sure what I would say. But recently, over the past couple years, I have realized that I love butterflies. Like I just appreciate how beautiful they are and they signify purity and reborn souls. Not really sure how that relates to anything, but thought I'd throw that in there. But recently, I have been getting into watching like Sims builds and Minecraft builds. I've been wanting to like revamp my channel and bring in like gaming videos and stuff that I actually want to do because I just, I love gaming and I thought that what better way to start this than do a speed build of my own and to do a butterfly. Like I had this idea of I could do like a butterfly shaped build and make it like a garden of some sorts. I don't know. I just had this idea in my head and I wanted to put it on paper. <laughs> Not paper, but the game. But yeah, um, I've actually been playing The Sims for a... Sims? I've been playing uh, Minecraft for a very long time. I started playing it um, before, like when you had to craft things together. You know, it wasn't already there for you. Like you had to put things together and you had to like go on Google and figure out like what went together with what. It's came a long way since then and I can't believe how much it's changed, but hey, it's, it's changed some for the better, some not so much, but what you gonna do? So I guess I'll just get into like explaining what I did. Um, I literally did probably about two hours of landscaping. <laughs> I cut out a lot of it because that's very boring. And I started to try to build it like, build like a, um, a pole, I guess, and then build the butterfly down this way. But I realized this is Minecraft and that's not going to work. So I deleted that and then I just decided to um, build like a platform and just build a butterfly on top. And how I did the butterfly is actually kind of easy because I just looked up a picture of an 8-bit butterfly and then I just looked at like, their measurements and stuff. And of course I like, I drew mine out and made it a lot bigger. <laughs> But it worked out really well, and I'm so happy with how the butterfly turned out. But honestly, going back to me playing Minecraft back in the day, like, I would kill to be able to go look at all my old builds. Like, I would probably cringe, <laughs> but it's just crazy. Like, I remember all those, like, buildings and everything I did, but uh, that was on an old computer, like, where I used to live when I was, like, you know, from, like, 12 to 16. Take a shot every time I say like. But, um, yeah, I don't know, it's just weird how time just goes by too fast. But with this butterfly, I tried out a few different colors, uh, and I ended up not liking blue, purple, or pink. But I do keep it pink for the majority of the video, but you'll see what color I change it to as we progress on the video. And then I was looking at these little, like, spikes on the end of the butterfly, and I was like, mm, I don't really like that. So I chopped them off, and I wanted it to be more of like a soft, you know, cute butterfly. And to make it more of like a greenhouse, um, not a greenhouse effect, <laughs> but more of like a greenhouse looking thing, I wanted to make glass walls so it could have a lot of natural lighting, sunlight. I thought that would be awesome and I'm really happy. Like I didn't know if I should use blocks or the panes, but the blocks look good. And here's just an overview. I think I just wanted to show what it looked like. Um, and of course I'm changing it to uh orange <laughs> orange i think that's called like a monarch butterfly i think that's in my opinion one of the most beautiful butterflies i would love to just go to like a butterfly sanctuary one day and just play with them and just see them in their natural self i had before but i think i was very small when i did um i've been thinking about getting a tattoo butterfly what do y'all think because i was talking to my boyfriend the other day and in all reality a tattoo doesn't necessarily have to have a meaning like you just get it <laughs> um and i thought that like the little white spots were perfect because it made it look like a real like depth butterfly i don't know i need to stop saying butterfly <laughs> so like i said earlier this video is very different like if you've been watching my videos i don't know i've just been trying to find my muse and trying to find stuff that i like to do on my channel and i love gaming like i don't know i'm not like a hardcore gamer like i'm not the best at games but I like Minecraft, Fortnite, The Sims. I love story games like The Last of Us, Fallout. I cannot wait for The Last of Us to come out in May. I am so hyped for it. When it comes out I will be doing Let's Plays on Twitch. I will be doing Let's Plays on YouTube. Like I can't wait. <laughs> but yeah so going back to the build right here. I'm building a um, mossy stone way. Mossy stone way. And just trying to make it more of like a garden. You can like walk around the garden and stuff. 
that's just how I think of a garden. And a botanical garden is actually, I don't know, I guess that's a big word, but botany just means like animal life or plant life. Yeah. The <laughs> botanical means plant life. I'm dumb. Here I am building a little pond for some fishies. I just thought it'd be a good addition to add that. But if you guys end up hating this kind of content, let me know. I hope you don't, but if you do, we'll figure something out. Uh, I've been streaming on Twitch lately, and I've been streaming Fortnite because I just feel like, I don't know, would you guys like to see me do a build? Because I would love to just like do a build on stream and then upload it to YouTube, like a fast pace like this. I think I, a few YouTubers do that. I know Little Simsy does that sometimes. Um, but here's me putting in this cute little corals. I think that's so, super, super cute. Um, it just makes it have more personality. Like, I, on my channel, I've tried to do, um, like makeup. I've tried to do lifestyle vlogs. And in all reality, I don't think people, I don't know. I just feel like if people don't know you, they're not going to watch a vlog of your life. Because they just don't know you enough to want to see your life. In my opinion, like, I don't know, I just have always heard that I like, don't do vlogs unless you actually have a following of people who want to see vlogs. I don't know. So I just thought I would try to do this. Oh, and here's me figuring out that the bees follow you. <laughs> you have, look, I had, they had a baby, I think. Um, but I was going ham with the flowers. Like, the best part of a garden is the pretty flowers. And a new update that came to Minecraft, I guess it's been here for like a year or so, maybe two years, I'm not sure. But are all the pretty flowers throwback to when minecraft only had the red and the yellow flower like that was it but now they have literally so many kinds of flowers they have the weird scary people with the axes vindicators is that what it's called i don't know i need to do a story or not a story i just need to do a video of me playing on survival because i haven't done that on this playstation yet and that would be very interesting and i can get like the trophies and stuff because they've they put a lot of new trophies in the game, of course, because there's a lot of new updates, but yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. The butter, oh, I think I hit the bee, I didn't mean to, <laughs> but the, like, all of the landscape and the butterfly, the butterfly's my favorite part because that took forever. In all, I would say that this probably took me about five or six hours, I'm not even gonna lie, and I didn't even take that many breaks. I think it's just because... I go kind of slow sometimes about stuff like this. I mean, whatever. I, but I had fun doing it, and I'm really happy like with how everything turned out. Honestly, um, <clears throat> I would love to have something like this one day. I mean, probably not this size or like in the shape of a butterfly. But I would love to have my own like little greenhouse or like walking garden, so I can just like soak in um, all the flowers and the bees and the butterflies. That would be so awesome to have a butterfly sanctuary. Is that legal? Can you have that at your house? I don't know. But more of on the artistic garden aspect, I thought I would add in this little like corner of where you could sit and just soak in the art and soak in the flowers. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to make it pretty realistic because um, I've been in gardens before, like at my old church. I, went, I had a garden there. Well, they had a garden there. And there was a little bench where you could just sit down and and do spots up. I know the bench isn't here yet, but it's about to come. Um, yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, and if you're watching this video, thank you so much for watching this. This was kind of out of my comfort zone because I've never actually built something that's elaborate, but I want to start doing this more and like gain a following for gaming because gaming, I've literally been a, a gamer since like sixth grade and I got my first PC and I got Minecraft and all those other games download and probably get a virus <laughs> but yeah i don't know i guess it just carries with you like you start at a young age you love it and it's like riding a bike like you never forget how to play minecraft you just have to be you have to like get used to all the updates and stuff but i don't know i love this game and i can't wait to hey i heard they're coming out with another update i want to do a video on that so bad but i can't wait Okay, well, let me show you the overview of this. It's almost done. I can't believe that went by really fast. Trust me, the editing didn't go by fast, but this video did. Alright, so let's go in and we'll do a little overview tour of everything. You walk in, you have a pathway, and the bees are just chilling and pollinating the plants and the flowers. And then we have a cute little artistic um, bench area to sit down and chill and soak in all of the nature. And then we go over here. 
to the little pond and we can see all the fishies and they're chilling. I'll also put some glowstone in there to just lighten it up so you can actually see what's going on in there. Uh, which, uh, you know, just makes everything have a little bit more depth. Also, I put a clock up there. I think that's pretty cool. I didn't know. I forgot you had to put it in a frame and I tried to put it on and I was like, why is it not working? Also, I thought this was a cute little um, addition to put a crop in there. I think that's radish. I just thought it was the cutest one to plant. So, yeah. Um, I guess with all that being said, um, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to me. Uh, and I will be coming out with more videos like this very soon. Uh, yeah. And if you liked it, comment what you liked about it and what you'd like to see from me next. And if this is the first video you're seeing from me, my name is Bridget. And I'm just trying to find my muse on this channel. And yeah, just be patient with me. And I have tons of content coming. And with all that being said, I hope you have a great day. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.